Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing Tal Burren in the One Minute Pool on ICC. This is my first game of the session, and we have a modern. I'll go C6. I'll play the Gurganidze system. Let's see how I fare with the system in bullet. Let's go Knight H6. This is definitely a fun system, and I haven't tried it before in bullet, so we'll see how it goes. And I'll go here, and the idea is to play E5 as quickly as possible. I wonder if I can just play it right now. I don't see why not. Unless he's going to rip open the center, but I think I have my fair share of the center. Let's go here and see if he'll take. He does take, and then I can push d4 next move. Um, maybe knight here, just to stop knight c5. Check. Granted, he can do that check, but all in all, i got to think this position is pretty okay for us. Let's see if he'll go h5 and go whole hog. He does not. Mm, let's go here. Maybe I'll play a5 next move and try to go attack his knight. He can go a4, but now we're headed for an endgame if he decides to take. He does not, though. Mm, i got to be careful now. Uh, this is not good. This could be bad. Okay, I guess I'll take. And I'll try to keep this closed. I'll do my best. Uh, can I take here? I'm going for it. And I can take on f3 if he plays queen g3, or something to that effect. Oh, he can... Time warning. Okay. He can... I gotta take here. But he has queen takes g6. Check. Or that. Wow, that works. Check. Checkmate. Oh, that was a nice combination by him. Alright, so I lost my first game against probably an underrated <laughs> player. Yeah. He's listed as an IM in his notes, but it says GM here. This is a nice combo. Definitely overlook the fact that he can play, uh, what was it? Rook, rook g1, rook dg1 first. Didn't cross my mind. I thought he was just going to take on g6. And I was going to play h6 and reply to that, but I wonder if I'm just losing here. Hmm, maybe not. Take here. Take. Okay, that, that runs into mate in three. But if I had played rook takes f3 instead, I'm doing well. Okay. All right, so Chavo is the next opponent. Let's play e4. I hardly ever play e4 in bullet. In fact, this is the first game I could I can remember having played this move. I'm just not as comfortable with the move orders in this line. Um, this variation I remember a little bit about. It goes like this, as I recall. Uh... I don't remember. Okay, I'll just do this. <laughs> pretty sure I'm not supposed to do that. But He now has the bishop pair in a pretty good position. Let's just continue developing. Play d3. Oh, I can just take this. That's been hanging since he played bishop f5. Okay. Restrict his development. Probably play h6, bring this back. So you can't move the knight now because I can take this pawn. We'll go h6 after this. Uh, he might try to trap my bishop, though. I probably should not have done that, but I will get rewarded for it by the win of a piece. Check. Okay. He can take on h3. Check. I guess maybe I should not have Check. allowed that, but it's not going to matter. Let's go here. Check. And now, if we just offer some timely trades, we should be winning. Let's go 94. And then I'll play this rook over once he addresses Time that. Warning. I can take this pawn though. Let's go here. See if he'll trade with me. Trade again. Let's bring this in. Check. Check. Okay. Check, check. Check, check. Check, mate. All right. So 25-19 after that game. I'll make an effort to play more E4. Because it's fun. You guys notice I play a lot of exchange variations. And the frequency with which I, pl I play exchange variations goes up in bullet. Because it's just easier to manage. I mean, if I play bishop A4, I have to be ready for every single line of the Royal Lopez that he can throw at me. So, 
Bishop takes c6 always narrows black's options. I'm trying to remember what the move is. Bishop e7 is kind of a funky way to play the exchange variation. Um, I could I could have sworn it was queen h5. And then here, and I think I am supposed to play knight f3. Not sure about this. Maybe it's queen a5. Could be queen a5. Swing the queen all the way over to attack the c7 pawn. And keep his queen on the e-file where hopefully I can gain a tempo with rook e1. Maybe my c2 pawn is hanging, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, engine likes queen a5. Back in the pool. It's about 1 o'clock in the morning when I'm playing this session. I know, right? A <laughs> very late night session. Doing double duty on my videos today. Since uh, the last set came out a little bit later than normal. This is a tough position for white. Especially those knights, man. Those knights and bullet. Still looks like white's gonna win. <laughs> Queen h7. Black instantly took it. <laughs> that was pretty funny. He was trying to... Oh, I meant to play e4. But he was trying to play Queen h7 just to like run black out of time, but it was exactly the move that black wanted to play anyway, so it didn't work out so well for white. He nearly flagged. Okay, let's go bishop c4. This old line. This fun stuff. Okay, let's bring this. No, let's play knight d2. And then this variation where they can go uh, check, but this guy seems to know what to do. This guy knows exactly what to do. Wow. The theory. He, wow. <laughs> this is exactly what black is supposed to do. Um, okay. I had this in the game once. Check. Sean Nagel, if you're watching this, <laughs> this was our game from the Minnesota Closed a couple years ago. Except I didn't bring my king out to b3 in that game. No siree. Uh, wow. Okay, I'm not going to take that pawn on b5. I kind of want to, but I'm, I'm worried about rook b8 if I had captured that pawn. Because then if a4, he would have had a6. So I'm just trying to play it more simply. I think the position is still roughly equal. He can go rook e6, but I have knight here. He's using a lot of time now. Uh, huh. I'm going to give a check first. Mm. Let's check. give a check again. Let's just see how he responds to that. Check. I check. have this now. Okay. Check. Time. Check. Yeah. Did I have knight c7 even before? Or uh, knight d7? Yeah, I had it even right here. As soon as I played rook c7, that threat was set up. Okay, so a4 was unnecessary. Yeah, this is all theory. Like I said, um, I had a game against uh, Lawrence Trent in the bullet pool where he played knight d3 check in this position, but that is a mistake. After king b1, knight takes f2, white has simply rook df1. And then after knight takes h1, there's bishop takes f7 check, forking the king and the rook, and that will win. But this guy played it exactly by the book. This is one way that black can try to equalize this line. Like, I'm pretty sure I had this against Sean in the Minnesota Closed 2014. And we agreed to draw after this repetition. I played my king back to b1, and it's very close to equal. I think king b3 is actually a little bit risky. So, engine likes black a little bit. Now it definitely likes black. <laughs> was it this position? It was, it was very close, if not exactly this position. So, all right, I am back in the pool. I'm at 25.23. Oh, by the way, breaking news. Uh, thanks to uh, my subscriber, Steven. Um, he's like the man on the spot with ICC stats. So shout out to Steven. But he posted a comment in one of my recent videos that Multicast actually has been branded as a computer. So this is pretty... Uh, a pretty huge development as far as ICC goes. Uh, yeah, Multicast just got, got slapped with the computer tag. So apparently he's been found to be a, an engine cheat, which is very unfortunate because, um, you know, it would have been nice if Multicast actually is a legit super GM, but, you know, that appears not to be the case. Too early to say right now. And I don't, ICC's pretty tight-lipped about um, people who are found to be engine users. They don't really reveal much. 
So remains to be seen how much we'll actually find out. Okay, knight h5 did absolutely nothing. I have no clue why I played that move. <laughs> All right, let's just go g6. I was trying to get into g3, but it was covered by that knight anyways. So it really amounted to no, almost nothing. Let's go here and attack this pawn. Uh, I think I can do this. And then maybe I can swing. I'm just going to swing the knight in through g3. Let's just take here. Hmm. I want to get another attacker on e3. So maybe knight g3 to f5, I was thinking. Well, this is certainly nice, though. Okay, I'll get the knight to e4 now. Let's do this. We'll just restrict his knight. I think I'm quite a bit better in this position. Let's just double up. Yeah, he can try to go h4. It's not going to help too much, though. Check. Hmm. Let's go h4 ourselves. See how he replies to that. Okay. He's avoiding all the tricks that Time are to be had in this position. Ooh, I see a nasty trick. Rook takes e3 is the threat. Rook takes e3, rook f2, mate. Wow, he actually saw that. All right, let's do Check. this. I think I still am going to get him, though. Because if he moves the knight, now knight f2 is crushing. Check. Yeah, this is not going to work out too well for Check. him. Check. Check. Yeah, Check. this is over. Check. All right. Yeah, that was nifty. Uh, sauerkraut. <laughs> I mean, I had him in like a kind of a positional bind, but he didn't allow me to execute that mate. That would have been cool. Did I have another chance to do it? I don't think so. Not right here. H4 was crucial as it turned out in setting up the mating net. So it's a nice way to nail the G3 square, nail his flight square. Seems like there must be a win like right here. Maybe if I would have done it a move sooner. No, 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 never mind. His knight was covering c3 then. I was thinking if I had played rook 8 to c3, but I could only do it when his knight came back to b2. There's got to be a win in this position. I mean, I guess there's several simple moves, like knight d2 check. And if his king moves, take his knight. Yeah, that's the easiest move. But I think the way I played it also wins. Yeah, he's unable to defend. Okay, so we are in the pool again, just waiting to be paired. Oh, I didn't even notice that Sauerkraut's rating was a little depressed. 23-39. Okay, let's play e4 against Talbaron. Uh, okay, we'll do this line. And maybe check. And then play a4. This variation. Okay, we'll castle. Hmm, not familiar with this one. Let's go a5. a6, might as well. Oh, uh, yeah, that was a big slip. He was trying to play b6 and he slipped. Okay, am I 2 0 with e4 this session? I think I am. This looks like a win for Sauerkraut. No smoker is not going to save the day on this one. Too many black pieces swarming, and too many checkmates in one. So we might get sauerkraut. But yeah, that's um, it's pretty shocking about multicast, right? Like, apparently he was playing Eric Hansen and Narquisos in several games, and according to Steven, the stats guy, he um he said Eric on his stream was not happy with multicast and maybe. Was even accusing him of being an engine? I'm not sure. I mean, we've we've talked about it on this channel too, just because um, when you see someone that good with the ratings that multicast has or had, um, naturally you're going to be suspicious. I mean, these records are astronomical. Um, so, you know, it's, it's obviously unfortunate that it turns out it's an engine, but um, I wonder if it actually was a strong player with an engine or some sort of cyborg, basically, human engine combination.
a lot of cheating incidents going on in chess lately. There was that incident in Dubai uh, with the Grandmaster uh, who just got caught using an engine while he was using the bathroom and uh, just got caught red-handed red -handed in the uh, Dubai Open. Sauerkraut's up a piece in this one, but oh, d3 was not good. <laughs> King f1 is an easy way to escape now. Hmm. That actually dropped the rook on d1. Right after f4, queen takes d1. Hmm. Alright, Armagons, 1959. Let's play g6. Let's do the Jinji. The Jinji Check. Indian. Ooh, this guy knows what to do. I'm declining that pawn. I am not taking that pawn on e4, even though you're supposed to. Let's attempt to stick our knight on e5. He's not going to let us, huh? I think castling this way is actually pretty foolish of me. Because <laughs> I'm giving him like a golden ticket to play bishop h6. He didn't do it. Um, let's go here. Just trying to attack his bishop, inconvenience it. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's bring this back. If he takes, I can still take here. Ah, oh, he can take on d6, though, and I'm pinned. Yeah, that's too bad. I'm going down material now. Okay, he gave me that pawn for no reason. That was nice. If rook d8, I can take it with my rook. Uh, let's go e6. Need to get a little bit more coordination going. Let's try to attack his king a little bit. Oh, maybe rook d8's good now, though. Yeah, he found it. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm going to lose. Queen d5, check. Check. Time queen warning. a8, yeah. <laughs> Let's forget about that game. <laughs> Probably uh, definitely the lowest rated player I've lost to recently. Okay. Okay. And okay, let's just do this. Check. Give a check. Sauerkraut is like angry or something. Usually he's not this uh, presumptuous with his moves. Let's go to e5. Mm, might as well take. Oh, he's playing for an endgame. Okay. We'll keep our king in the center. Not easy for him to consolidate. I probably should not have played that move. But at least it'll take him a few tempos to get his king out. All right, let's just do this and try to trade. He's keeping his knight. Now he can take this pawn. Good example of how to <laughs> uh, somewhat blow a much better position. He can take and then play knight c5. So I have to take here now. Or take and play knight e4 check. Now he can get these pawns going. e5 probably is what he should do. Check. Let's give a check first. Mm. Guess I'm going to go after these. Now it's check. a matter of whose pawns are faster. Check. His or mine? Time. Check. Let's just do this. Check. Uh, yeah, now my. Check. Hmm, it's complicated. Yeah, because he gets he gets the pawn down to e3. This is trouble. This is really trouble. Check. Now I'm losing. Okay, I resign. Sub 2500 now. Not easy because we have we've been playing just lots of lurid players. Mm, okay, let's go g6. I'm playing the king's Indian, or I was. Let's go e5. Okay, knight e7. Kind of have a King's Indian-esque position going on. Probably put his knight on e4. At least I would think he'd want to. Check. Let's go here. He can play knight f4, yeah. That's okay. We'll weaken his structure. Sack the exchange. Hmm. Let's take here. To see which how he wants to play this. Check. Hmm, yeah. 
I gotta go here now. Didn't want to have to do that. Hmm, H4. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, let's do this. I could take and then go Rook E5. Hmm. Let's try to get something going. Time warning. Not much to be done right here. Okay, I'm gonna resign this one too. Sauerkraut, you're killing me, man. 2463. Okay, back to knight f3. Back to basics. Let's do it this way. Occupy the center. Check. Mm-hmm. Bishop f4. We'll keep our king in the center. a4, maybe? Our bishops should definitely be worth something in this position. Let's go here. If he wants to take, that's fine by me. I think I'm still much, much better. I'll try to go d5. Might as well go d6. Just keep opening this bad boy up. I don't want him to go knight b3 and into c5. That could be bad. Hmm. Let's go here. Try to push d6, d7, I guess. It's kind of uncomfortable for him if I don't push d7, though. Know what I mean? Uh, let's do this. Okay. Hmm. Okay, now we'll, we'll do this finally. Oh, this is annoying. I think I'm still doing well. Check. No draw. Check. Definitely no draw. We're gaining a pawn. Check. I think with my two passers, I should be close to winning. I don't know though. Maybe he's kept out. Check. Okay. Well, that game was much smoother. Just managed him on the clock. Back in the pool, I'll play a couple more. This is the guy who knew all the King's Indian theory. Christian S. Looks like he's gonna lose this game. Well, actually, no. Black's time is so poor. Yeah, Black's not gonna make it, I don't think. Chess counter. Uh, let's play f5. I'm really experimenting this session. I don't know, it's just late night. I'm not playing anyone um, of... I don't want to say of note, <laughs> but I, I feel like it's harder for me to take some of these games seriously just because of the ratings of the opponents and stuff. If it's someone like really high rated, I feel like I'd rise to the occasion. But okay, I'll just do this. He can take on f5 though. If he takes on f5, I'll probably play just bishop here. Um, let's take here first. Spending a lot of time. Let's see if we'll take that way. Who is chess counter? Siddharth Ravachandran. Oh wait, I didn't even see it moved. <laughs> I was just making a fool of myself. My clock running. If I can cast a queen side, that would be a godsend. Hmm. Again, he's spending a lot of time. Is he lagging? Check. Guess not. Strange. Okay, let's go here and we'll play for b5. Let's open it up. Let's check. go check. Counterattack d4. And I'm also attacking c4. Now we open it up. Oh, did I get my rook trapped? Looks like I did. Gotta go here now. 
I think my rook was actually still trapped. Let's go here to slow him down. Time warning. Hmm. Check. I'm totally gonna flag him. Mercilessly. Check. So that is what I do. Check. Absolutely Check. merciless. The flagging Check. will continue until, until morale improves. Check. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's play one more game. Last game of the session. That last opponent played very quickly, just not, not in the middle game. That was kind of weird. I'd go queen h4 if I were white here, and try to play bishop f6 and knight g5. Looks good. Pretty single-minded plan, but black already has to be on full alert. Probably, yeah, they'll trade. try to trade queens. That's a good move. This is the guy I lost to, right? Armagons. I'd play b4 if I were white, because otherwise it's hard to make use of this somewhat strange looking pawn mass. h4, yeah, looks pretty good. 96. 96 check, and if pawn takes, take the rook. He found it. Alright, Zivon will be our last opponent. e4, let's do this. Open Sicilian. It's time. You throw a Taimanov or Khan at me? Khan it will be. Uh, let's go bishop d3. Supposedly the crucial move against the Khan. Bishop d6, huh? This is like Mickey Mouse chess, to use a uh, Nakamura-ism. <laughs> I thought that was a funny moment at the US Championship. Mickey Mouse. Mm, okay, let's take here. See if I can weaken his king a little bit. Don't know, though. He's playing nicely. Knight e5, yeah. Maybe I'll put the bishop on g2. Let's go a4. Just try to undermine his position. Might develop this knight through a3. I want to shake that knight on e5, so I'm thinking knight c4 might be good. You can play rook a c8 right now. Okay, let's go h3. I need to get rid of this like bind he has with the pawn on g4, and... Um, the knight on e5. Need to get rid of that situation. If he takes with that knight, I can take on b7. And then I can go e5. That's good stuff. And if he moves this knight, I have queen takes g4. So I'm winning two minor pieces. Okay, let's do that. Bring this knight back from the brink. This knight over. Good coordination now. Let's go f4 just to secure the e5 square. Uh, I think I can do that. Then I can stick this knight on Time. c6 now. Okay, let's go here. He might have been able to take my pawn on b5. Hmm. He's trying to set up rook take c6, but I was not cooperating. Ooh, knight g4. Just blundered knight g4. Hope he doesn't notice. He still had it. It would have been crushing too. Check. Okay. Winning ugly and trying stuff. That was the theme of this this session. So let's tabulate the results. So I played one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven games. And I won what? Uh, four, five, six, seven? So seven and four, yet I lost quite a bit of rating, actually. I was at 25.42 at the end of that session, and I went down to 24.84. Because as you can see, I mean, the highest rated player I played was Sauerkraut at 2,400, just barely. But that was fun. Got to try some new stuff, and maybe I'll play E4 more in uh, future sessions. So thank you guys for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with another bullet session. Talk to you guys later. Bye.